Uh, typically, it's uh, extensions, garage conversions, renovations, structural alterations internally. That's pretty much where our business is the majority of the time. Uh, so, the limited company has been running for about four years, but Wayne was a sole trader running running the company for, I don't know, 20 years before then. Plans Express, Estimator Express, and Health and Safety Expert. So, I don't know, five, six years ago when I came into this, I couldn't see the wood for the trees. I knew things had to change, but I didn't know how to change it. When I found HBXL with the estimating service, with the Estimate Express and the Plans Express, and the Health and Safety Expert, it's enabled us to pull everything that is important in a construction company together, and not only put it together, but it gives me the support and way and our business to be able to put ourselves on a platform and be proud of it. I think it was the friendliness, the, I don't know if you call it an open door policy. I didn't feel, I didn't feel like when I was ringing up and asking what I thought was ridiculous questions. Um, it was like, you know, no, no question was too stupid, <laughs> which was, it was helpful because I, a lot of the time I'm quite good at making myself feel stupid, so yeah. The videos I do like, because I think I'm a bit of a sucker when it comes to... If I'm not sure of something, I like to be able to find stuff out myself and in my own time, so if it's an evening, I can go into it. And also, I'm quite good at learning from my mistakes. If I've done a mistake and I look, look back at a video, it sticks in my head a bit more. Definitely, I would recommend HPXL software to any, any building firm that wants to, wants to run a successful, profitable, valued business. It's definitely making a, a difference. I don't know where we'd be without it, to be honest. In HBXL software will support you, even at first you'll, you'll feel overwhelmed because you have to understand the, the software and the system, but you have to stick with it So because you know that in six months or a year you're going to be in a better place because you're more organised, you feel you're getting the quotes out quicker and customers are understanding the quotes, which is a big thing because a lot of the time you know, if they get quotes they're not, they're not sure you know, what's covered where you can break them down as much or little as you want for the individual customer and taking that pressure off mentally helps it will help any construction company and their employees or staff. I think it was more Wayne was struggling to keep on top of getting quotes out. He's not computer literate at all, so I would type them up. They were quite basic. Um, obviously I didn't come from a, a construction background, but I knew more information needed to be put into them. And then he was getting more customers contacting about bigger jobs and he would spend a week pulling a quote together and you know ringing up the suppliers and finding out how much timber was, what this was and that was. And then things would always probably get missed. Um, small things, but obviously ultimately, you know, when you add it all up, it's it's taken out your profit. Any construction company or trade or builder will always be told that they the customer can get it done cheaper somewhere else, and that's fine because they, they probably can. But it's about the quality, and also those jobs that they're being priced that they're cheaper will probably have add-ons because not everything's included. You know that everything you've put through has been priced and it's come out and that is exactly how much that job's gonna cost. A week and a half, two weeks, easily. And I don't think they were very accurate at the time because what you're 
what you're getting with um, prices one week, two weeks later or three weeks later, they're, they're changing, especially at the moment. I would say, I would say 12 hours in total of looking at the job, getting an understanding of it, looking at all the structural side, the steels, um, and then putting it all through the system. I, yeah, I, I would say getting that quote pulled together and then sending it out, yeah, I would say 12 hours. I worked out all our overheads and what our overheads are, what our profit should be, and I was like, oh, we've been undercharging. <laughs> Which wasn't, which wasn't nice to see, but actually it was like, well, actually that's good because actually now I know I know exactly how much profit and how much overhead I need to be putting on, and we haven't lost any work from putting it out. If anything, we probably gained more. So, yeah. He likes the material schedule, um, and because obviously then he's, he knows all the material that he needs, you know, on site. He loves the fact that I can do. Um, when I need them on site and when they're actually needed, so we know when the delivery needs to come in. It's knowing when those materials and plant need to be on site, so when you are on site, they're there, so you're not like, you know, waiting around or, you know, the worst is if a toilet doesn't turn up and you've been on site for three days, that toilet needs to be there, you know, at least three days before, really. I really like using Plans Express. I'm, a, I'm quite artistic, so I quite enjoy that that side of it, drawing it out. I love the fact that you can trace over architect's plans and then you've got a little nice little CAD to look at. I, I like that. Customers like that visualisation as well. Um, I love the fact that you can do basic things in it, but actually you can just build on and build on and build on to get something, you know, including electrics, plumbing, drainage, everything can go into it and then be put straight into the Estimate Express. I mean, we, we did a gar um, house renovation recently and I drew out the whole house and then managed to do all the renovation within that and that was really, really helpful because I had all the measurements and, and then the customer at first didn't want finished floor and now they do and I could just go straight into that drawer in, take anything else I didn't want in it, and then, you know, just do the floor in, and then the price produced within, I think I did that within 30 minutes. I, so I drew the ha whole house in, and, then, and did it as non-estimated, non so then when I did the floor, um, that was estimated, then I put it into the Estimate Express, and that just brought up all the price for the finished floor. What I have found has been helpful in the past is when I, I have got a lot of esti estimates to do is I can be working on two or three at a time and sometimes if I'm waiting on structural you know, uh, drawings or anything what's good is I can start to build that drawing up and then I can send them a visual and they know that I'm working on it which is helpful. Health and safety in small building firms have changed massively. A site health and safety is so so important. You you can't really lift a shovel up without it. So yeah, I I we recognise that quite early on. There's still plenty of trades that don't like wearing safety boots or safety hats or masks. And you know, at the end of the day, they might not be paying for it now, but they will be in 30, 40 years. And I'd like to think that if we can push the health and safety forward, um, not only are our backs covered, but their backs are covered and you know, awareness is raised correctly, it can only do good. I regularly say it to my uh, sub subcontractors, I put all the site safety in place, we have a site safety box with you know, first aid kits, um, the signs go up, the hard hats are on site, the high visits, the site register, visitors register, everything's there. So. You know, if I'm not there or Wayne's not on site and a HS, you know, a visitor does arrive, you know, I say to the lads, as long as you've got your health and safety in place and they need to see documents, that's where they are. <laughs>